Well, hi everyone. Thanks for joining me today here on Vib Mom Sews. I'm going to bring you my last makes of February. I made these in the last two weeks. And even though it's kind of overcast here in Virginia this weekend, I'm really excited because I have spring and summer outfits to show you. Yay, spring is on the way. So I hope you're having a good weekend. Let's get right into it. The shirt that I'm wearing is made out of this cute striped fabric. And it was really easy to put together. I didn't have to do any piecing or color blocking or anything. But I don't recall the pattern number that I used. It's an out of print simplicity. I will find it and put it in the description box. All right, I'll be back with my first make. Hang on. Well, New Look 6517 is one of my all-time favorite patterns. I made the cropped pants and I made the little pullover kind of cropped top out of this pattern. Look at that. It costs $2.97 and you get all those pieces, including the scarf. So here is what I came up with. I have these blue pants in a really pretty sky blue, and they have a tiny bit of lycra in them, which just gives them a lovely fit. I gave them a deep hem, and I sewed around it twice with a double stitched hem. The little top I made out of this really pretty 100% cotton from Fabric Mart, and I thought it needed just a little something. So I put my bias binding on the outside, and then I did a navy blue band out of a knit right there on the selvage. It had a little bit of fringe, so I thought that that would be kind of cool, you know, to mix a woven with a knit. So I have this little outfit for spring. And I love it, but I thought, how can I kick this up a notch? I did put on the band, I did put on the little bias binding, and then it hit me. I could pull out Simplicity 8180 and make a shirt. For hey, nice shirt. For someone. Where'd you get it? <laughs> For someone I know and love. Hello, viewers. So, this is Brad's shirt. Yes, it is the exact same fabric. And I told matchy, my sister, matchy. I told my sister Carol that we're going to wear our matching shirts to the first party at Chesapeake Bay at her cabin. And I can't wait. So, what did I think of Simplicity 8180? I think my favorite thing about it is this little loop up here on right at the collar i just i like to get loopy it's tiny but it just makes it look ready to wear professional i don't know i just love that little loop i don't even know why it's there we have, with pocket. we have a chest pocket we have a bit of a high low hem it dips down in the front and the back no yoke no back pleat no collar stand. They call this a three hour pattern because it's really basic, but I love the fit on him. I cut a medium and he tried it on and it was a little bit snug on the side, so I just took a smaller seam allowance and the fit is perfect. I will, definitely, is. I will definitely make it again. So what do you think? Do you like it? I love it. You do? Very comfortable. Okay, does it bother you that we match? That will be, we're a little different. Is it silly? No, hey, we not. can be silly, we're almost 60. <laughs> Don't remind <laughs> me. <mind. laughs> All right, he might be back later. I'm gonna go get my next outfit for you. Hold on. Before I take my blue pants off, I wanna show you new look 6434. I chose view uh, what's that letter? Who C. The little ruffle top, sleeveless top, and I made it out of this cute cotton, floral, such cute colors. I forget where I got it, but I think it might be 
Kaufman. Um, it's got that little fun ruffle there. Let me see if this light helps. Little fun ruffle there, and I put in a hand sewn button loop up here, and it's just a way to wear these pants again. When I first put the pants on, I thought, do they look like scrubs? But then, but that was with them full length, and I think making them cropped and slightly flared saves them from looking like scrubs. And they're super comfortable with that little bit of stretch. They have pockets, love them, love new look uh, patterns. That is 6434. I call Mimi and Norris sewing royalty. I love this pattern. That's Norris modeling it. And it's a raglan tee. It's never let me down. Mimi G style. However, I must say, I don't know what I was thinking. Putting a grown man into a puppy print color blocked shirt. <laughs> what? But this grown man is just kind enough to wear it. And I think the pocket is crooked too. Just to give it, you know, that perfect je ne sais quoi. Yeah. So come up close so they can see those myriad see those dogs. <laughs> Brad grew right up side with up a, and upside down. Brad grew up with a dog and he loves dogs. But this came out looking decidedly silly. It's more of a uh, quarantine kind of shirt. A quarantine. And I did the three quarter sleeves, which made it look even worse, even though I love them in different, in other fabrics. So I had to graft on a cuff, but <laughs> it's warm, it's comfortable. It makes us laugh. And yeah, am I embarrassed? Yes, I am embarrassed, but you don't mind. Yeah, it's quite comfy. <laughs> I'm not wearing it out to any, uh engagements. Don't wear it to a business meeting, okay? <laughs> it might uh, undermine hello. my credibility. Hello, I'm Brad. I would like to have, handle your insurance needs. Is there something <laughs> wrong? Why are you leaving? Perhaps I can offer pet insurance. <laughs> okay, thanks for your help and I'll be right back. I wondered if I could make Berta 6363 look a little more chic than what they have styled here on the envelope. Now, I'm not against flats or sneakers, but flats with that length dress don't exactly scream chic to me. I think that looks more dowdy. And then they have a really pretty dressy kind of sage green dress and they've put trainers on her. So, I don't know. Here is my take on Berta 6363. And thank you everyone who told me this is a cocoon shaped dress. I kept saying it was a bag or a balloon, neither of which sounds all that flattering. So, I put in a little button and loop closure in the back. This is view B, the longer version, which I made shorter, and it is supposed to pull right over the head, but I raised the neckline just a little bit, so I thought to give myself enough room, I would put a slit down the back and so I cut the back in two pieces and seamed it right up and left an opening. I did find that the sleeves did not go in very easily. Now I did put them in flat and the pattern wants you to set them in the round and my side seams did not match up either. So I'm a careful cutter. Um, I don't know if that's just a little idiosyncrasy. Is that the word? Idiosyncratic characteristic of the pattern. A long way around the barn to say I like the dress. Um, yeah, I like the lines of the dress. This is a really pretty crepe de chine from Fashion Fabrics Club. And I think it adds a lot of life to the dress. The length is just right. I don't think it could go any shorter or any longer. One more outfit. 
My last outfit for today is comprised of new look 6870, a cute top, kind of peasant lines on this top with an elasticized neckline, and Simplicity 8922 pants with really cute front details on them. There are the different choices for these pants. So I decided to make my pants cropped. You know me, I love cropped pants. Look at that cute detail on the front. <laughs> so you attach a cuff to the bottom of the pants and it needs to be, the cuff needs to be sewn together at the front. So you take up a wide seam allowance forming a casing and then you insert your drawstrings and cinch them up. These pants have pockets. I used a very pale yellow. Um, it's supposed to be linen-like from fabric.com. It doesn't have a lot of life to it, but it's fine for these kick around pants for spring and summer. The top, I did view D and I used this print from Mood. It has girls in ball gowns on it, but I love the colors. So we have a little tie in the back to cinch it up for a good fit. And let's see, from the side, I don't think I look pregnant. I don't think I do. Do you? I hope not. I had to remove some elastic from the neck to bring it in just a little bit more, and that's easy to do. You can just open up your casing, and it's really good if you can't get your elastic to feed all the way through, and you have a bunch of gathers here and hardly any here, just open it up pull out the extra, sew them together, and sew it back up. So this is just another summer outfit with these fun pants and this really cute print top from Mood. I think that's gonna wrap it up. I got more fabric. Thank you for welcoming me so warmly to the Fabric Addiction Club. I am now a proud card-carrying member. I think I joined many moons ago, but I loved your affirmations. And um, I'm glad to know I'm in good company. So come back and see me next week because I got more beautiful fabric to show you. And in the meantime, sew up an outfit for spring because it really lifts your spirits. I'll see you soon and thanks for watching. Bye.